man. Oh, okay, please somebody else do the intro. Like, no, just, no, you have to. We're just kidding. I just, no, I just yeah. love it. Hey, Delaney. Would you say that over there? Oh, hey, oh, you got this is Brad from Texas. <laughs> Coming at you love, sponsored by CC's Furniture. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're currently underwater in one of our schools. <laughs> Financial. And. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, everybody ready? <laughs> Welcome, everybody, once again to Tales of Trujillo, Campaign 1, Episode 5, Swords of Fortune. <laughs> Quick recap. <laughs> What's up? What's He's up? gassy. He's, He's from gassy. Don't fucking look at me if you don't. I'm looking at you. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. So we did that. <laughs> now back to you, Colt. <laughs> hey, here we go again. You feel, you feel like so stupid when you say the same thing. No, just keep going. What are you talking about? That was fine. Although you didn't look at the camera, so. No, well, I've been looking at you all because I'm more so dressed at you. <laughs> hey, Dylan, your college popped. I'm sorry, can I not be a gangster? It, it's not a gangster if it's not all the way popped, it's just... I, I'm half gang. <laughs> it's more some and garbage. Gang, gang. Not enough yeah. holidays. Ugh. <laughs> 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 nobody like that comparison. In the back. Ugh. It's oh, yeah, yeah it's back? crunched up in the back. Okay, I'm just going to redo the whole thing. This is my, do it's my one unironed shirt. <laughs> it was bunched up in the duffel bag. Best smacky woman when you get home, man. <laughs> just... I, yeah, we really can't keep it that. <laughs> okay. Hello and welcome, everybody. Back to Tales of Trujillo, Campaign 1, Swords of Fortune, Episode 5. A little quick recap for y'all again. Um, when last we left off, <clears throat> you all had finally traveled to Wildgrad to uh, the, Broadbeam, the Broadbeam Homestead. And um, our resident dwarf engaged the bear saint of his hold in single combat and proved himself an honorable combatant and received another signet ring. Um, after that, a shaman for the Loman teleported you all um, to an unknown abandoned abbey where you fought... Um, a vampire fledgling inside. And when rooted it. Yes. yes. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> that's where we left off last time she with the vampire dead. fledgling being dead. And I won rock, rock paper, scissors, right? Yeah. yeah. So you won the you did get the You did get the teeth. <laughs> I wasted four turns to cast this spell. I thought I was going to do way more damage. Fifteen's <laughs> a lot. It is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Not for four turns, though. <laughs> Probably true. You know, it's it's the learning it to get the better spell. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like uh, I was I was wondering if it'll eventually upgrade to one no one d sixes and d eight. What you gotta do is do that and then instantly cast turbulence. Flamethrower. Uh, I don't know if that's possible, but uh, hey, <clears throat> I don't know. Really. Little combo. Like instead of using an action to throw it, I use my action to turbulence yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> turbulence it. Okay, so now you find yourselves in this empty and. Um, Really uh, desolate. Uh, I checked the thing yeah. for a ring on its finger. See if it's one of them. One of them you got a ring on that finger. <laughs> Are you <laughs> single? <laughs> Can I have your number? You do not find one. Okay. What about in his pockets? That's mm. nasty little pockets. <laughs> <laughs> or on its neck. Nowhere you search do you find a ring on this um, vampire fledgling. It's like on a necklace. What is on this vampire fledgling? Oh. Everybody check this out. Our door. Twenty. I got nat twenty as well. Hey. Well, I got a three. Well, not nat twenty. You find pocket yeah. engine, Jacob. <laughs> well, plus your uh, um, investigation. So you got twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. You two collectively, almost at the same time, 
find one half of, of a medallion. Mmm. You can have both halves. You, no, you just find one half. You don't find it. Oh, collect oh, so like we touch oh, hands and oh, touch oh, it. Okay. Oh, it was like a really cute moment. <laughs> yeah. You better hang on to it for safety. Uh, I'm going to like to examine it, see if there's any um, engravings or like a symbol or anything on there. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, so see if there's any magic uh, investigation. Yep. Um, 18. Yeah, so it <clears throat> does have very strong magic properties. You're not familiar with this school, and you're also not familiar with the language. It's of the... Uh, Riding around the edge of the medallion. I'd like to just look around the church to see if there's any, or cathedral or whatever it was, to see if there's anything inside that can help us. Like anything at all in there, really. Yeah, so do a um, non investigation. Uh, Perception. 15. 15? Mm hmm. Um, you kind of notice on one wall there's kind of an underdraft underneath the wall. Hey guys, there's an underdraft under this wall. We should go through it and see if there's a path. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody agree? Mm-hmm. Cool beans, you want to... Okay, so we can either try to figure out how to open it, or you can turn demons through it. Mm-hmm. Up to you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see if it's an illusionary wall first. I'm going to see if there's any archon... If it's a magical property kind of door, and it's alive. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's it's not an for, for, for an illusion. Maybe to dispel it, it'd have to be high, but a touch would stop it. But more so, when you touch it, you just kind of get like a real staticky feel from the from the wall, mm-hmm. like an energy type of feel. From oh, it. not like it's dry air. <clears throat> okay. mm-hmm. and, and also, I believe it, this is uh, not going to be good. <laughs> Your <laughs> voice got rather obnoxious there. Right? Weird. Where's but... the suave? Where's the suave? I can bring it back. I'm just scared. Is this your <laughs> is this your normal voice? Like, did we miss this for the past couple of? Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, you can change that. Elf, <laughs> I love your voice, and I love you. Yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> what do you think, wizard? Should we just bust through it, or should you do some things to it, or what do you want to do? <clears throat> Because you're the one who investigated the door. Can I run at it as hard as I can? Just kind of slam my shoulder into it? Give it a go. <laughs> Strength or uh, athletics? Do it with your hands. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> the buster. Just be, be on deck. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Elden runs as, as hard as he can towards his wall and just bodies it, but it just repel- repulses him and it falls backwards and just kind of slides across the floor. Anyways, oh, wizard. Oh, like buffers me back. Okay. Wizard, what do you think? Listen, man. Uh, I'm going to just... <laughs> 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 my thing. Alright. You do you, guys. Hmm. Hey. You hit the turbulence and when it hits the false wall, uh, the turbulence is redirected back at you. Mm. Mm. You're mm. able to kind of disperse the wind, being that it was from you, but it does kind of push you back five feet away. Um, so wait, have we concluded that it is magic that this thing is, this door? It, it's got a staticky presence to it. Okay, well, we don't have... Do you have any um, magic or magic? I would like to uh, to cast... Wait, and the thing is, this is going to be real tough on you there, Cole, but nullify magic. Uh, matching magic points, and this is an abridged version of what it is, must roll 14 or higher uh, with intelligence modifier. If lower, I take uh, 1d4 buffer damage, but I still nullify it regardless. So how many points did it take? Whatever casted for this wall, or the... Yeah, the wall. Mm, we'll say 18. 18? <sighs> okay. Um, mm, that sucks for my arcana, but okay. I Well, then I dispel it, and I got to roll. <sighs> Thank the Lord. Okay, that's a uh, 17. Okay. So the ward on the wall is now dispelled. The wall doesn't open. <laughs> But it's dispelled. Dwarf. Kind of Warhammer of the wall. Go for it. Is that the 20? Mm hmm. You're going to do a strength check so you can bust through the wall. <clears throat> Triangle smash. Nice. 21. 21? 
Yeah, so you uh, you smash through the wall, revealing um, a flight of stairs, but it goes down into a deep, deep dark. Um, I'd like to look to the party and say, uh, I'm out of spell, <laughs> Arcana. Uh, you have no more runes. You seem probably pretty low, and well, you're useless. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take a long <laughs> rest? Done. I will, um, before we rest, I say we go inside the uh, church, <clears throat> and I'll put a magic ward over that uh, stairwell, mm -hmm. and it'll alert me whenever someone comes through there. Hmm. Okay. Good thinking. Oh, I can so y'all are going down the stairs? No, we're, we're, we're taking a rest first. Okay. <laughs> so y'all are in the opposite <laughs> Sorry, I just thought for a second... I it doesn't have a duration, so I was just... I'm assuming it's just... Yeah, I thought he said you all were going to go down the stairs and then rest. But... Mm -hmm. okay. No, stay No, stay in the area here that we know is clear so far. Okay, yeah, so you all... Y'all taking a full 12 hours, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you all set up camp. Uh, anybody going on guard duty? Uh, I, I will take guard duty. How about sleep? You guys... Uh, we'll rotate the appropriate amount for all of us to get to 12 hours of rest. While having one person on guard duty. Okay. Um, so who's sleeping first? I will take the first shift. And then... Wizard, if you would take second. Dwarf for third. And uh, my fellow Dominion will take the last shift. Okay. Um, that works. And let's see if... Um, Anybody who's sleeping can give me a uh, constitution saving throw. Mmm. Those damn thing catch your potions. Oh, nice. You say con save? Mm hmm. 18. Uh, 18 as well. 12. 12? Okay, so you all, your minds are still kind of alert as you sleep, and you do not, are not affected by this. However, for you. <coughs> Grindhold, you awake in a mysterious plane, devoid of like any kind of any kind of nature structure. It's just black. Like, it, it's just Avoid. pitch black. Yeah, around you, and <clears throat> with you is a nightmare creature. No bueno. Oh boy. <clears throat> no bueno at all. Uh, so who's, uh, how long into this did this happen, and who's on guard? I don't think that really matters. He's in a Because he's asleep. Yeah, this could happen in the matter of five seconds, but feel like a lifetime to him. Well, the reason I'm saying that is whoever's on guard can perceive him right. struggling and wake him up. I don't know. Is he, he struggling, or is he just... I would say he's there. just sleeping. Okay. So that's what I was wondering if it was during the first shift, like a... Second shift, or yeah. Whatever, whatever. Obviously, it's probably yeah. first or second. It's either me or. Yep. So, uh, so who is it? Who's, so the, who's the one awake? Uh, oh no, because we rolled to a team. Yeah. 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 And. Uh, but I'll, as he said, he's no, just, that makes sense. Yep. He's, he's just sleeping peacefully. So it's not. No, you, I, you can yeah, I'm roll right. initiative. Initiative. Yep. Yep. Uh, all of us? No, just no. him. Just no. him. Nine. Nine. So, you be all right. You the that. creature will go first. And it moves at you with blinding speed, taking a first, a slash attack at you. Does he regain all his hit points? Yeah, like, does he get hit points? Can he use runes? Like, what's going on? No, it, it's the state he was when he, w when he fell asleep. Okay. He should have been fully healed because we had a long rest before that, right? Mm, no, because yeah. we just started the long rest. You're at 20. Because he's on the first spot. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, so, 23. Mm -hmm. um, 23 health and ruin less. Mm. I don't think a 13 hits. No, because they refresh every hour, so. <clears throat> Does that go off armor class? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your runes refresh every hour? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, and you have you, runes. You probably, yeah, you probably do have runes. Um, okay. But it's <clears throat> now going, since it missed with its clock, it comes in for a bite on you. And that's going to be a 16. Uh, it hits. Yeah, it does. Plus 6. 
Mm -hmm. And that'll be seven points on you. Mm. Cool. Old ground hole. You're at 16. Hold that four. Hmm. So. I would um, like to cast Snore. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn. My turn. <clears throat> um. Get in with the hammer dog. So I got my runes back. Mm hmm. I'm well, gonna we'll have to come at him with a. Uh, Fire rune, the Warhammer. <laughs> well, that was was it? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> your hammer. Damn shame. You come at it with your with your hammer, but the the stone <clears throat> that it's seen, that it is made of, because you know it's a it's a being of dream matter, um, just re repulses your hammer immediately back. Mm -hmm. Um, and it goes in for another swipe on you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, a twelve does not hit you. Mm -hmm. And then again, it takes its bite attack on you. And um, when it goes to bite you, you are able to dodge out of the way and make one attack with your hammer. Just go ahead and roll an attack roll for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, 17. That'll hit. So, nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for the Warhammer. Uh, nice. Plus 12. 12? Just mm -hmm. the fire rune. Oh, yeah, he has the fire rune on. What? Well, it was an attack opportunity. Oh. So. The oh. fire rune's still there, though. No, it, he has to re- Like, it fails, so he has to reactivate. You know what I mean? Like, it- Yes, he did on the last encounter. Remember, because he about missed it. Exactly until he activated. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, that doesn't matter, but... Because he activated the first thing. Uh -huh. We'll just go without it for now. Okay. Um, 12? Mm. 12 and 12. And, yep, that brings it back to its turn. And it, it's just viciously coming at you. Like, it, its only goal in life is... <laughs> Once me. But it again <laughs> misses <laughs> with its claws. <laughs> you see it once me? But yeah, it didn't. is able to, as you're dodging, get a bite out of you. That was a part. <laughs> For six points. You're down to ten. It went <clears> off <throat> the door up. <laughs> <laughs> Brings us back to your turn. Bonus action, apply your rune, I guess. Yeah, I'll do yeah. Apply my rune as a bonus action. Okay. Um, I'm coming in for a swing. <laughs> what you get? Seven. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> There's going to be no rest for us here. No rest it for hits you this time with its swap. Oh, dang. Could be the end of my nightmare. <laughs> or, or <laughs> and me. why? I guess yeah. I don't know. Or me. For five points. And it goes in for its spot attack. I got five hills. Oh gosh. Which misses. Man, that was a close one. Uh, I need to try to get those things too quick to get around now. Mm -hmm. Man, I freaked up. You might as well I'm just apply gonna... the rune again. Apparently, and then. Yep, I need to reapply that rune and hope this time it helps. Which one, the fire rune? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you get seven, you're gonna quit and. Damn! Was it seven? Yes! yes. <laughs> like five plus two? Yes! Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Now it takes its attack on you again, mm -hmm. which its swap fails. I'm not saying. 15 hit you? Uh, no. A 15 does not hit you? Okay. Mm -hmm. And it misses both times. Alright, I'm not putting no more fire runes on. That thing's going back in my pocket. <laughs> and I'm trying the lightning rune. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bit. 13. Does not hit. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, its first attack misses as well. Okay, okay. As does its second. Okay. Hit him with it again. The <laughs> ultimate stalemate? <laughs> yeah, you are just uh, imagine going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Missing left and right with his blocking sevens. 
Or a lightning round. Don't fail me this time. Oh, it fell. An eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> Slightly better than the seven. Not as good as the you nine. You one of your rolls from a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. So, 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 so it slash misses, it's by it. Oh. Four. Whoa. Five points. Oh. That's it. That's zero. Zero. You're not dead, don't worry. <laughs> you immediately gasp awake and are so scared to go back to sleep that you only benefit half of a long rest by the time it's over. Which, mm. so you were at 23, mm. which is about a 35. Which is 12, so plus 6 health points on that. Back to 29 for him. Is health 47? No, it's 47. This is 47, that's mine. So 47, 23, my bad. So 4, 2, so 12. 24 plus 12. The sleep, man. 36. Back up to 36 health points. Hit points. Take that. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. <sighs> and, uh, I guess... Wait a minute, wait a minute. <clears throat> So you wake up freaking out, right? <laughs> <laughs> so when when does he wake up for this? Is it before my shift's over or after my shift's over? We'll be, we won't do that. We will say that it is before your shift's over. So you obviously tell me what the hell happened. I'm like... Well, I think from his perspective, it's probably just a... Terrible nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure he knows what happened. I understand, but you just tell me that you have a nightmare, right? I'm like, Sandra goes, I've had the worst nightmare in my life. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not going back to sleep. So as, I ponder, duty. <laughs> as I ponder my dwarf friend's situation, I'm like, didn't that first guy tell us that we would have problems with our dreams and gave us these potions? I think to myself. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, well... Since my other two guys haven't woke up out of fucking terror, I guess I'll just try it myself. So I obviously try my dream catcher potion is what I'm calling it. I just down it. And then yeah, I'm like, so when, to go to sleep. when you down it, your body enters a state of semi-hibernation. Mm -hmm. But your mind stays alert. So you never fully go to sleep, but you will gain the benefits of your long rest. Mm, interesting. So I go back to Gucci. Mm -hmm. cool. I'm on duty sure. now. So, I uh, get woke up. Yeah. So, if that's the case, mm. and these guys saved out of it, so they're not going to catch nightmares, right? No, they're not going to have any clue what happened. Okay, cool beans. Well, at that point, could I not wake up after, you know, once everybody wakes back up, uh, you know, after we go through our guard shifts and be like, Hey man, why don't you just take a quick rest after you take your potion? Would I not tell him that so he can be fully healed? Mm, you could, depending on the amount of time. Like you were sent here because somebody urgently needed your help. So all right, screw it. You're just gonna take one for the team. I mm -hmm. mean, no, just do do what you all want to do. I'm just reminding you of the story. Mm. We're already taking twelve hours to heal. I don't think six more hours is really gonna be a big deal. Taking 12 hours a person, aren't you? No, no, no. Enough cycled wise for all of us to get our full rests in. But technically speaking, you don't need 12 hours because he offered to take the rest of the shift. Yeah, I'm too freaked out if you go back to sleep. <laughs> so I guess, well, well, I guess that, that's actually um, 15 hours. 15 hours in all. Okay. You think you can handle it? You think you can go through this battle without getting the full rest? Uh huh. Oh, I got some meat in there. All right. Well, we don't have any meat. <laughs> <laughs> so we're screwed. Well, yeah, uh, we're screwed then. So, okay. So I guess we just go through our shifts and if anything happens. <laughs> he said, I came here to fight and drink meat. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so are we all awake now? Or? Let's go down the stairs. Are yeah. we all awake now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, dwarf friend. We'll, we'll deal with you, and we'll get you a whole cask of meat when this is all over. Uh, much obliged. <laughs> is everybody ready to go down the stairs? Everybody yeah. cool with that plan? Is all my runes back now? Yep. yep. Okay. Renfiki. <laughs> Renaki. <Renaki>, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you all start down the stairs. Um, Wait. I would like to check the stairs as we go down it for traps and such. 
And you should do the same thing with magic so there's no like ruins on the side of the wall that fucking just destroy us. <laughs> <laughs> 14 for Arcana. Okay, three. So, you know, I got a four. Um, you could be checking for it too because you've got good. Yeah, good yeah, dwarf, you perceive it too. I didn't see anything, but. So, yeah, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary with the staircase. Uh. Or you want to do Arcana, or you want to just look for normal traps? Just as perception. Oh, okay. So... Uh, not a thing. You got a 19. For traps? You look for traps? Mm-hmm. You don't notice anything for traps. And you're detecting for runes and yeah. stuff for your magic. I did 14. Okay. Down the stairs we go. Yeah. And better, uh, better. better. You all... You all travel down the stairs, and... Yeah. Okay. yeah. Again, it is it is pitch black. Um, hey, uh, hey, uh, Eldon, don't you have a flaming sword that could be like a good torch for us as we walk down these stairs? No. <laughs> are you lying to me? Perhaps. <laughs> Can we sense we're in a room yet, or are we still on the stairs? Would you mind flaming your sword up for us? Flame on. <laughs> <laughs> Like, is it the stairs still? It's just pitch black. We can't see anything? Or are we yeah, in a I'm room? Tra- I'm trying to get some light over here from LD. Yeah, that's the thing is y'all oh. are currently traveling down the pitch black stairs. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay I'll cast <clears throat> Flaming Sword. Which means his yep. blade is so blade. So he casts it just in time to stop. Who, go- who goes now first? Um, I suppose I would if I have the flame on. Okay, yeah. sweet. You um, stop, cast it. Sorry, you cast it just in time to stop you from... Stepping into this large pit in the middle of the room, and all of your companions kind of make their way around to the other side. Is that kind of part, yeah. Sorry. All of you make your way around to the other side, um, and down the pit, you notice um, you notice another room, and I'll sit it out so you can see what's down there with a lot of his sword. This room is down below it, so this pit opens up, and that's also a pit to an unknown distance below. You so we can't see the sides because the pit widens, obviously. Yeah. Okay. And from your angle, you can see a woman kind of shackled to the walls down in this pit. In like a normal way, it's just like some kind of weird like is it like, is it like a kink or no 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 no. Uh, it's not like a relationship thing. No. She just chained up to a wall. She's like, well, she's like a prisoner. Yeah, she's like chained to a, like her hands up here. She's kind of chained just enough to where it's, it's uncomfortable. Does she look unhappy? Very. Does she kind of look good looking? <laughs> is, she work, is she, is she worth going she's out pretty old. and shooting? So- <laughs> but is she I didn't good ask good? how old she was, Cole. I said, is I she like good looking? I like to cast flare down in the bottom so we just kind of get more depth perception see how far down this is Oof. yeah that's nice hey don't you have unlimited rope can't we like rappel down to that's her that's the plan I want to see how yeah so you, you send the you send the flare down and in total it travels about a good let's say 90 feet down into the center of this hole Oof. but as the light fades it passes the woman she's kind of like very weakly looks up and um, she very weakly looks up and then puts her head back down. Can I look around the room that we're in for any torches on the wall? Um, yeah, you can while, see... While he's doing that, I want to start t- uh, preparing about 100 foot worth of rope, about four different ones, and work on tying them off somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, is there a place we can tie off at? Mm-hmm. My pillar. Because then we really only need one rope. And yeah, so there are several... There are several very well rooted into the wall um, old torch stands with burnt out torches on them. I would like to grab a torch. I guess I'll anchor these uh, into the, those things on the wall, give it a good tug. And Oops, then sorry. I would like to cast Spark as a cantrip, obviously because it is okay. a cantrip, lighting the torch. If it will light. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have a lit torch now. Yeah. Anybody else want a lit torch? I'm anchoring down to these about I give you 100 one plus feet. I guess. So that way we got plenty of room. For or come from the things on the walls down the hole. Oh, oh she's a hundred feet down, or the pit keeps the going. The pit feet. goes down ninety feet. She's only about ten feet below us. Then okay. No, no, no. This is a hundred feet. If it's ninety feet past that, then it's no, no. The the entire length of the thing is about ninety feet. So like from where he shoots it, shoots the flare where you're standing down to the oh, very okay. bottom, is ninety feet. And um, 
She's probably about 30 feet down. Okay, so 30 foot. It, I don't think the distance really matters. Like, we're, it obviously. Yeah, matters. we'll just climb down and swing. Yeah. All of y'all at once, like, like monkeys. Yes. <laughs> no, I think one at a time is a good idea. <laughs> that, that's why there's four different ropes, so that way we can all. Oh, that's, that's fair. Same that's time. fair. Okay, good luck. Who's on the lake? <laughs> uh, I think we'll tie it to the old torch thing and kind of tell it and see if it's already, strong. I already, already said that. Did he did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he was doing all yeah, that. Yeah, so stuff. someone should go down first and hit. <laughs> just kidding. Who, who was the heaviest? The 600 pound one? I looked to uh, Elden and I say, You're strong, tug on this. Make sure this will stay. I tug on it with all my might. Yes, all you No! Mm. Well, you have to tug. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> yes. Right. I'm going to tug on it pretty hard. To see if it'll stay. Although it is made out of true steel, so I imagine it's probably fine. Uh, 12. Yeah, so you you tug on it with a, a fair bit of force, and the uh, torch grounding doesn't seem to budge at all. The only thing that seems to happen is that the knot, the knot at the end of the true steel uh, rope just seems to tighten itself, evenly adjusting the weight around whatever surface it's on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. All right. Well, I so guess they start repelling. Yeah, is what I'm saying. And uh, uh, go talk to this lady. You should go next because we both have torches. We're all going at the same time. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's four ropes. I keep forgetting that. I guess. Wind. So I guess we all go down mm-hmm. to her. Now, is there a ledge all the way around it, like where she's at, like it, like this is set up, or? Yes. Okay, so we all come down to here, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Are we six? We can probably go in different spots too. Yeah. You can. All you all can see her intentions. So you'll know if she's like our friend or foe. Or, or, no, she put me up here. Yeah. You know, what kind of shenanigans Who she wants to come down right in front of her? Uh, Someone with a long uh, range. I will. I will. Both of you are probably fine to do this. So. Yeah, as I was about saying. Who, uh, I they mean, both literally right. Oh, you both yeah. want to go over here? Okay, yeah. And she just continues to sit there, chains in the wall. Should I grab a ladder? <laughs> <laughs> Easy, or <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Obviously... <clears throat> Which, wait a minute, wait a minute. She's, like, looking down, so she might not even, like, realize we're down there yet. She might be like... Ma'am, are you okay? You hear kind of a groan, but she seems too, even too weak to raise her head up. <sighs> I mean, you can try to see if she's got any bad intentions or she's just acting... Not to be able to see her eyes. Oh, well, okay, well. Uh, dwarf. No, not the dwarf. You might... Uh, I'll travel over to her and just see if she's okay. Okay. Uh, will you give me a medicine check? Uh, yeah. My medicine's pretty poor, but the yeah, S7. Yeah, so it doesn't That's take much. Good medicine check. It doesn't take much for you to notice, and you know, having prior knowledge that you did fight a vampire, you do pull her neck up and realize that she has lost a lot of blood, and until she has time to recuperate, mm. she's not going to be very conversational. She's not going to be very. We don't have time for this. Okay, let me. Bust the shackles off. I would like okay. trying not to drop any flames on her. Yeah, just the sword. Just give me. Uh, I, I imagine you go sideways and get one yeah, swing. No, no, no. I'm just gonna, well, I thought she, is she like this or She's like, like this? this? Oh yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Just give me one uh, strength check. Can I move over next to her while he's doing that? Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. yeah you just cut it loose. You can. Mm-hmm. I'll catch her. Yeah. With you put me over there, Cole. I gra- I touch her shoulder and cast healing hands. I mean, that'll just be the easiest way to do this. Like, I understand. Not a bad feeling. Well. Yeah, so, so you, you cast... I'm going to position myself in the corner so I'm not directly in front of this pit. You cast Healing Hands, and it does close up her... Um, yeah, okay. it, close up, it closes up the bites that are on her neck, and she does recoup a little bit, but just, just enough that she pulls from her finger a signet ring and puts it in, in your hand before passing out. Sweet, I put the third ring on my hand. So now you have I have all three. three? Yeah, on okay. me, like on my hand. It's Thanos. <laughs> like yeah. These, these yeah, so when you put all three rings on your hands, they, they, they combine, they come off your hand, and they form themselves into a key. In front of you opens a doorway, and um, above the doorway is inscribed a riddle. Oh, okay. what language? Language. Not really. what language? And it says, What is the root of a future for some and failure for others? 
creep. Let me read it again. What does it say? <laughs> what? This is the root of a future for some and failure for others. Destiny. No. Uh, the door does not budge. Greed? The door does not budge. That's trash. That definitely answers that. Did you write it all down? Yeah. Root of future for some. Or the root of the future for some and then the failure for others. Uh, Time? All right, so can I do like a, a just a like mind boggle where I try like, oh, like a history check? Or actually, I'm gonna cast third eye to see if I can just know the um, answer to this riddle. I think they're That's not fun, but we can do it. <laughs> Don't you fucking judge me? It's worth a shot. Um, Family, and that would be with my what? <clears throat> Your intelligence. Would it be intelligence or arcana because it's a spell? It's intelligence. Okay. Yeah, it'll be the same. That'll be the same that, uh, modifier. Okay, so it's plus two, so 18. Okay, um, I'll give you a hint. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will give you a hint. Oh, wise GM, you, let me know what the answer is. You have been dealing, although you haven't known it, you have been dealing with this state of mind if we say this entire time it's been the shadow threat the looming threat is it dreams the door responds and a keyhole appears you got it that's what I'm talking about son throw some of that knowledge on you I <laughs> used to spell to learn it <clears throat> hey 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 I got it don't be don't be so mean is that a song hey 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 I got it it's not a song anyways I just kind of look at everybody and like we're kind of on a time crunch Y'all just wanna y'all just wanna hit it, hit it hard. Yeah, <laughs> hard yeah it's the lady dead. What? No, no, she's passed out. Like, what do we do with her? Just leave her here. I'm gonna loot her. I'm gonna loot her real quick. While she's passed out, Grand Hall's gonna come over. Give her the attention, Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Are you groping her, or are you just like, like, like trying to find I'm something? Sit, uh, I ain't gonna get nothing. Anymore. Can I, toss, probably good. can I toss her in the toilet? <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, six. <laughs> you find a, a small bag, and she seems to have neatly asserted some, most of her coins, but you're able to manage to get off of her um, her belt loop uh, oh. a small bag of, oh. of copper coins, and that's four to one to silver ratio. Four well, copper. Screw three. copper. Chuck it down the hole. Can I chuck her down the hole? Dwarf never throws no. it. No. <laughs> what are we going to do with her? Just leave her here. No, just toss her in the hole now. She'll die. It'll be fine. She'll die. <laughs> well, one way we're, we're, we're not killing her, neither way we are. No, well, I mean, I'm not going to let her sit here and just die in this hole because I assume she's going to die from the contract. Ah, uh, that is... But we didn't do it. Nobody even know we did it. <laughs> as far as I know, we got there and she was in the pit. That's fair. That's fair. Who's going to know? That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, so toss her no. No, I mean, say let's not, but that is fair. That's a fair point. Wait, okay, whatever. Anyways, if nobody sees it, it doesn't count. How old is she? She's pretty old, remember? Is she, she, a, is she a diamond? Can I, can I attempt a mess yes. and check the scene? Oh, she's a diamond, so her 60s or 70s, she's like... I should well, say, sorry, sorry. She's probably like 180. 180? Yeah, she's dead to society. Chuck her down. I said we chuck her in the hole. Can I do a mess check to see what exactly has killed her? Or like what's caused her to be in the state? Is the vampire. Yeah, she's just been... I want to see if there's like an underlying thing that he that couldn't figure out. Yeah, yes. go ahead. Yeah, it's a dick. That, no. Yeah, it's just, no. A, it's just a vampire. Yeah. So can we toss her down in the hole? Dwarf, you have no morals. Is that going to make us lose our uh, contract money? Who's going to know? Nobody says anything. We all keep it to ourselves. Okay, hold on, hold on. They're going to know. <laughs> <laughs> the way I see it, toss her. I don't see why we can toss her. I don't think we should leave her. So you just want to leave her here to die? or? I don't think we should leave her to die. How? We can't take her with us. we got a dude to fight. We can't be throwing her yeah. around somebody's body. What if there's body. pillows at the end of that pit? You don't know. <laughs> as far as we know, we didn't cause her any but harm. What if she makes a great human shield? That's fair. We'll take her. We'll take her. <laughs> the morally bankrupt dwarf goes, let's use her as a human yeah. shield. I'll put her on my bag. <laughs> or maybe the diamond is, is super strong should pack yeah. her. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'll, I mean, you are, you are I'll sling her on the back. So now. she's... Okay, yeah. And you're going through the door? I have the key. 
Okay, it opens, and it's just pure lot. You uh, all pass through. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> sure. So is it like a heaven? Like yeah, yeah. Blind yeah like you, you walk in, and, it sh- and like, you know, like... The sh- it shrouds you in light. Yeah. yeah, it shrouds you in light, and your shadow vanishes. And when you come to the other side, you're in, like, unfamiliar halls. And we're going to break right there mm-hmm. in the video Okay. for a change of scenery.